All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome back. We're playing some standard today, and uh, this is a pretty cool one. This deck comes from Aaron Barrick, and uh, she's a former Invitational Champion, uh, noted brewer. She loves aggressive decks, and she posted this deck on her Twitter, uh, I don't know, a few days ago, and it looked really, really cool to me, and I wanted to give it a try, mostly because of this card. This card's a, a pretty genius uh, deck-building idea. So this is a Rakdos Sacrifice deck. We've seen these before, right? Boring, Jim. Come on, boring. Nope. We're playing Obash. Obash, the Prey Piercer. So every card in our deck has to have an odd mana cost. That's our companion requirement. However, Obash is a house once it's in play. Uh, it's a 3-5, and everything deals double damage, which is just insane. So Mayhem Devil deals two per shot. Judith, two per shot. Uh, it's really, really good. So the problem, of course, is the old one three five curve isn't really uh, isn't really great if you're not ramping, and of course Rakdos doesn't ramp very well, right? Well, Aaron's solution was to play Heraldic Banner. This is a three mana artifact. You choose a color, and creatures of chosen chosen color you get get plus one plus so it's a Crusade effect. It also taps to add one mana, so pretty sweet because we can play this. Probably name it black. I'd imagine all our, all our cards are black. And then we can immediately cast a one drop off of it, or cast a spell off of it, which is awesome. So we're not, most of our cards cost one anyway. So we play this, play this spell, it's a good tempo swing, and now we have five mana for the following turn for Obosh, which is insane. So really, really cool deck building innovation to, you know, what's mostly what you'd expect here otherwise, Cauldron Familiar, Witches Oven, Claim the Firstborn's obviously insane, Whisper Squad, Serrated Scorpion. Wouldn't mind seeing one weaponize the monsters in this deck. I think that card's pretty sweet, um, but... I'll leave it as is. Woe Strider, Judith, Mayhem Devil. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Sideboard is Disfigure, Drill Bit, Midnight Reaper. Reaper's a little awkward with Obosh because it does deal double damage to you as well. Got some Regis, some Active Treason, some Bedevils. Deck seems super sweet. I wanted to give it a try. So, let's go. Let's battle. Just played a Cycling deck and a Winona Rider deck. If you missed those, up on YouTube at some point. Odd Sacrifice. It's so odd. Is such an odd, an odd one. Let's go. Oh boy, uh, a little laggy here. I might have restart a restart arena here. Arena's a little, a little chunky. Oh god. All right. Um, yeah. No stack outlet for claiming the firstborn, but on the play we can keep this. I love Whisper Squad too. I am I am in dear with Whisper Squad. Whisper Squad also fills your curves. It's a two drop too, so. Uh, we're gonna keep this. I'm not sure what we're gonna do on turn one. Uh, they're a Lurus deck, which means they're gonna be pretty aggressive. We're probably just gonna squat up, honestly. Definitely keeping a two lander is a little, a little risky. We are trying to go to five, but Scorpion. Speaking of a devil. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just squat up here and say go. We can double block if they fire in. Starting to kind of hate my keep, actually. Really can't function without at least three lands in play. Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Alright, so... That card's certainly good. I mean, uh, we, I, we, have, we have claimed the Firstborn. That's insane! All right, so we're going to Whisper Squad. This is this is actually unreal. I said Whisper Squad. Arena. Arena. All right, so we get to Steel Priest, activate it, make mana, cast Mayhem Devil, and kill their creature. Can I sack, can I sack this? It's two other creatures. I can't. I can't actually sack the priest. Yeah, I can. I can guess Wolf Strider. Lucky draw. Oh, it's All right. Oh my God. Uh, so do that. Do this. We also draw a card too. Yeah, we we could. That's true. We could have also targeted ourselves too. We have Wolf Strider, so we're not going to do that. So um, there's no reason for me to lose two life here. And not just play Woe Strider and Sack and Scry anyway, so we want to Scry for lands regardless. Draw 
Capture land, sweet. Um, resolve that. Play land. Play Woe Strider. Woo! Make a goat. Sack their priest. Scry. Keep land. Play gutter ball. Not a, not a bad turn. I mean, it was okay. It was like kind of fine, you know? Medium. Medium turn. A Johnny's Pride Mate. And call it familiar. Okay. Um, I mean, we can, like, sacrifice three things to kill the pride mate, I guess. Our mayhem devil. It's not ideal, but we're pretty close to Obosh, too. So you would just sack the, like, a scorpion, a gutter ball, and the, and the goat. Kill that, attack. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Um, we can do better than Blood Crypt. Yeah, that's better. That's definitely better. Let me sack Scorpion over... I mean, maybe Gutter Bones is better sack. Nah, we're not, we're not gonna have mana to get that back. Any point soon, so... Sack Scorpion. Feel one here. Still want that on top. Pretty cool so far. Alright, so the oven's a little annoying because now my, my clan of the firstborn isn't as good as I would like it to be, but it's still really good, so. I just have a devil blade. It doesn't matter though. Devil both sides, regardless. All right. Um, what's cooking? <laughs> so they're gonna block. They're gonna sacrifice. They're gonna realize that my mayhem devil triggers when they sacrifice, and they're gonna concede. Avengers Endgame came out one year ago today. Really? Wow. Remember, remember, remember going to the movies? Remember that? Back in the day? Like going outside, seeing a movie. I remember. I remember what that was like. So yeah, Mayhem Devil ain't too bad about that against them. It's up 10. It's funny actually. Nicole and I went out yesterday for, it was, a, it was like a Pokemon special event day or whatever, and we went out, we actually stayed in our car, but drove down to like the downport area where you usually go play Pokemon, and there were like hundreds and hundreds of people outside just walking around playing Pokemon like a normal average spring day. I don't know, I'm neurotic, I just don't leave the house, so, um, they're dead. It's our own witch's oven, too. Give me that. We'll sacrifice it. We'll ping some stuff. Yeah, I don't really get it either, Tannen, but... Alright, so we're going to deal, uh... What is that, 10? Play oven. Smash everything. 
And they just like have to be dead. I mean, I haven't done any math or anything, but they just like have to be dead. We have to like sack a thing for a food, sack the food for two extra damage. This is an extra damage. Uh, I get the familiar back. I get to make two blocks here, I guess. I'm just gonna shoot them. So I'm gonna sack the one being blocked by the scorpion, so the scorpion doesn't die unless they actually sacrifice it, and deal one to them. Then we're gonna sack that, or I'll deal one to them again. Scorpion goes off. And when all's said and done, they're gonna take some amount of damage. And then that's gonna die, sure. Uh, I mean, we're like one short of killing them, I guess. I guess go. We could sack the the food and then the day at the devil, but they just like can't do anything either. I guess they say they can sack foods for life and they take they gain two for each food. These games are mad complicated. Hall of a Death Dweller targeting Lurus. Okay. Yeah, they can cast one of these. I mean, they're just like dead if they tap out for anything, right? Pride Mate, sure. So. I am active, or the active players trigger stack first, then the other. On, so they go to bring back a cat on my turn. Well, no, it was a response to the ability, so that will go on the stack, that will go on top of it. So I don't think they can do actual anything to not die here. What's up, Ryan? I've kind of been avoiding constructed all week because a lot of the companion stuff is kind of like eh. I was drafting all week. Um, I'm not thrilled about it, but it's weird. It's like a familiar. We do another one. Uh, we're gonna wanna. So that goes to two. Back to three. I think it's bigger. Two. On tap. That was a good draw. Uh, Alright. Give me that one. I think the firstborn's so freaking good in these decks. Game. Complicated. Complicated Miles. gameplay. Never got to Obosh. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Um. Oh boy. What do we want? What do we want? I imagine they have to like board out their their uh, their priests because they're so bad against Clan the Firstborn. Um. I have no idea what I want. Not a clue. They're probably gonna have some kill spells in their deck. Because uh, killing Mayhem Devil is like, so important. Disfigure is like, kind of cool. Um, a lot of stuff's going to die and be grindy, so I'm like kind of like less interested in the banner. Um, and I kind of want some Disfigures, I think. I don't really want to do much, honestly. I think that's it. 
trying to like lower my curve a little bit because they are pretty quick. Like tapping out for a banner is kind of rough. So, so we have four devils and two Judith, which are insane in the matchup. And we have four clan the firstborn, which are also insane. So, I think we're like favored matchup wise. It just seems pretty good for us. Um, Loras is very good. We got to make sure we kill that on site, but. Yeah, Mayhem Devil triggering off everything is really, really weird. It's very, like, not how Watsi makes cards. Um, like, all lords only pump your own stuff now. Most things only affect your stuff. So the fact that it triggers off your opponent's sacrifices is, like, very, very weird. It makes everything go, like... And opponent, jeez. And right, folks, if you haven't followed the stream, make sure you hit that follow button. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you have eight to ten seconds, like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe. I mean, like, just casting Luris is definitely reasonable. It's a thing you could do, but... I guess that's fine. It's not, like, great. We do have, a, have an oven already. We've got squad. It's fine. It's not great, but we're on the draw. I think it's fine. I think finding the oven's pretty important. Squad. There's our there's our devil. That's cool. Um, I guess I want to like squad later. You can Scorpion here and, like, deter an attack. Um, don't think we're really going to be getting aggressive. Let's play Scorpion, I think. I don't want to hold the squad for later, I think. Man is a little more abundant. They have a Priest. That's bad. Uh, Alright. That's kind of not cool. What are chances we get to see me draft Vintage Cube in the next couple days? Exceedingly low. I don't like the Magic Online Cubes much at all, and I just have other things I'd rather be doing. Ideally, we're more moving next week, so we'll see if that happens, hopefully. The bank called us back, and they gave us the okay, but they've given us the okay before, so... Until we're actually in the house, I will not be smiling at all. No smiling allowed. Alright, it's pretty good. I mean, Mark Rosewater said that there won't be any more companions. That the he feels he felt the design space was too limited. So, should I cast the Luris? Wow! All right. Uh, all swamps. All swamps. Not cool. Not cool. I think we're in trouble this game, folks. We can't kill Luris. We can't cast our spells. Um, I mean, maybe I should have mulliganed. I don't know. Um, Scorpion. Standard.
Well, however much we had it all in the first game, they have it all this game. So, uh, looks like we're going to game three. Alright. Uh, yeah. That sucked. Game three. I should have mulliganed. I don't know. We're on the draw. You know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. Domery's a punk. Let me tell you. Domery's a punk. Domery, like, grew up upper middle, upper middle class. His parents were happily married. Gave him everything he wanted. He got a, you know, a PlayStation for his 12th birthday, but he decided he wanted to rage against the machine a little bit, and, uh, Domir's the punk. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna keep... King, new sub, what's your name, where you from? Welcome, my friend. Love it. And unfortunately, we're going to have to get a stack this passage for, uh, you know, before we play Devil, but we have Devil next turn, so it's pretty good for us. Alright. So we got Devil online. A second Devil if they kill it. We got Obosh, we got Banner, we got lots of stuff. Cruel Celebrant. So I just want to know how many claim the firstborns we can draw. That's all I want. Just claim the freaking firstborn. Alright, I gotta show arena folks, sorry. <laughs> Rami do that before the next game, right? Okay. The devil was in the details. And uh We're just gonna say go. We could attack here, but if they untap and kill my devil, then they get to attack and I'd rather have blockers up. have their own oven. Um, we could sack our gunner bones here and just like kill their familiar and make a uh, make it a little more awkward for them. That's that's not necessary though. We have two devils too, so we can just like wait. All right. I'm gonna think I, that they have a, a heartless end here. That's my thought process. Um. So, we're just going to play Devil number two. And then next turn we get to Banner and Familiar and just go nuts. But, if I go over Banner right now and they kill my Devil in response, it's going to feel pretty bad. So... What are you drinking? What are you drinking? Um... Wow. Or, or nah. Or nah. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll attack. You sub is Chaz. They're playing a new Phyrexia, usually a YouTube viewer, but remember to have Twitch Prime sub. Wanted to make sure you use it on me. Thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. That's great. Any Amazon Prime users, you get a free sub. So if you're a YouTube viewer, you can just hop in, take 10 seconds, sub a channel. You, gotta reiterate, you do it every month. It won't like renew automatically, but... I'm, we're buying a house, folks. Yeah, your sport makes that possible, so thank you. So no kill spell. I was. And then they're gonna main phase to, to cycle a triome. Okay. I'm calling it already. Sorry, yeah. folks. We're calling it. This game's over. This game's over. Alright, they don't agree. Playing the banner. Black. Pump the squad. Play cauldron familiar. K. 
kill everything. One there. One there. Yeah. Game. Yeah. Man Devil, uh, pretty good in the uh, aristocracy mirror. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Alright, uh, let's get a little restart here. Just gonna do it really seamlessly. No, one, no one's even gonna notice. It's gonna be great. Remember, folks, check out CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com. Number one source for all your game shopping needs. CoolStuffInc.com. You can buy your Ikoria cards, sealed product, board games, card games, basically everything game related, all on CoolStuffInc.com. Use promo code Jim5. You get 5% off your order and a free Jim Davis Goblin token with your order as well. That's right. Jim5 is the promo code. Also, they have free content every single weekday. I do a video Monday, I do an article Friday. Tons of free content, no paywall. Check it out. Cool stuff, Inc. Dot com. That's right, coolstuffinc.com. My article on uh, Friday was all about the Blue Red Is It Yadaro Turtle Control deck. I played in the Lotus Box tournament and all the mistakes I made building it. So you can learn from my mistakes. Pretty good, right? Pretty good. Also, I got Cardboard Live. That's the overlay you see right now. Cardboard.live. If you're a content creator, you must use Cardboard Live because Cardboard Live is the bomb. Check it out, Cardboard.live. Again, if you're a content creator, email James, get in the beta. Cardboard Live, let's go. See that seamless restart? It's incredible. Karungus. Um, this hand's like, not great. Hmm. Sable tip, new sub, what's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend, thanks so much, appreciate it. We're over 800 subs. I appreciate that very, very much. This house we're moving into, hopefully, was paid for by you guys. Thank you so much. Me and my family appreciate you. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna love it. We have Obosh too, so like. Point of Mulligans. The old Karungus here. Temple, sure, 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 sure. A guest room or sleep? You sleep. Anyone who wants to come to my house and sleep outside is a sleeping bag. All out. All out. Can I use the code to purchase Pokemon stuff for my son? Yeah. But every whatever you purchase, you get you get a token. You get signed. If you want to mail it to me, I can sign it for you. But they 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 can't. I don't live in Orlando, so they they can't sign it. Or have it signed before they mail it out. Uh, Alright, we get our swamp. Now, if we Judith here, we run the risk of getting Deafening Clarion. Um, so we could just Woe Strider. Woo! And uh, at least we get some scries out of it, and we'd be an escape card too. They would take. Three. It's not really worth it, though. Yeah, I think it's Strider. Don't deafening clarion me. Uh oh. Oh boy, thank God. This isn't a fight. Tots too? Man. Jeez. Thanks, this. Alright, Scorpion. Scorpion. Alright, so now we're gonna fire off the uh the Judith. Kill the fairy, deal some damage, get Scorpion in play. So now, a Definite Clarion deals a lot. It deals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Deals 6 to them. And they had it, they cast it last turn anyway, so. 
Can't sack Shrider itself. It's it's uh it's other creatures. Sacrifice another creature. It's hot, hot. Alright, so we drew a land there. Uh that'd have been cool, but we didn't. Um we just smash. They block something, take much damage. Two, three, four, five. Attack with everything, including Judith. They took two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe at one life. And I just kill one Strider. Yeah, they're just dead, right? They're just dead either way, right? We just, we just... If we attack with everything, they block this. They take two, four, six, seven, eight. No, we're one short. Uh. I got it. Play this. Then play squad. Then we attack with everything. They block here. We take two, four, five, six, seven, eight when Judith, or er, eight from a squad. Oh, crap. Uh, sorry, folks. I need to do math. Two, four, five, six. They're taking seven damage. There's four left. Sack this for... That's... Judith counts herself. Once, once Judith dies, I can't sack the scorpion. So I think everything else, they block this. Take two, three, four, five. And then six, seven. This is called a non-token. All right. Uh... I think this is two, four, five, six, seven. They block here. Take five. That's six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this doesn't attack. So it's probably six of one, half a dozen of the other, because I'm, I'm sure you just kill them like every other way too, but. So. Sack this to scry. I believe we have exactly lethal, so. And if we're one short, Cauldron Familiar is there to help us out. That's five. Four, three, two. Yeah, we're even. I think we're actually a little over lethal. Yeah, we're actually way over. <laughs> Pretty sure they were dead, but if, if we talk about the Judith. Then, uh, and Judith dies, it makes our sacrifices really awkward. So, it's really like attacking with Siege Gang. Can't attack with Siege Gang, I gotta keep Siege Gang home. Alright, so Jeskai fires. Um, claim the Firstborn, not gonna be very good. Drill Bit, probably Midnight Reaper. I mean, Act of Treason is good against the big boom booms. We, like, probably wanna act. Uh, what do we not want? We're shaving two banners again? Banner name is fine because it makes all my bad creatures good. Uh, I don't even know if I want that. I mean, stealing a big creature is pretty good. They, they play like one big fire, like bumping guy. I don't know if that's going to matter, though, in the games that we're losing. Hmm. Let me shave like two woe striders and bring in two two act reasons. Cause we're not gonna need to sacrifice that one as much because like we don't we're not playing claim the force sport first born anymore. So let's try this. Let's try this. Claim can steal sharks. Yeah, I mean I guess, but it's a complicated deck. Opponent's already mulliganed. I think we are too. Um, having a third land seems really important. And if, if this Scorpion was, an, was, it, was a cat, we had a cat oven already, maybe we keep, but I'm gonna mulligan. 
Alright. I guess we'll keep. Ship Act of Treason. Certainly uh, a very awkward hand, but try our best here. Alright, I mean, get swamps, there you go, not ideal. Not having a third lance pretty tough, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty tough. Like, they did fairy and bounce my gutter bones here, and just like our hand just totally falls apart. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Let's try this. Oh, and it's castable. All right, so no fires is good. No fires is good. What's up, Elder Rap Wizard? How's it going, my friend? That's Cardboard Live. Cardboard Live is pretty sweet. They only killed a Sphinx super well. Uh, <clears throat> we drew land, yay! Hmm. I mean, like... Can like cat oven drill bit. Probably they just have they just have Karungus here, so like we can't even hit their their big card anyway. Yeah, I think we're in trouble this game. Um, even if their hand is bad, they just have Karungus. All, all they need to land. I think we're in. We we just missed a, missed on land too much here. Probably just Karungus. I mean, uh, just drill bit, I guess. Oh my god, their hand is good. Alright, we're going to the next game. Pretty sure. Or 13, maybe not, I guess. Just play like Scorpion. Or 13. Alright, could, could be a thing, you know? We play Kenrith, like. You probably just can't kill them. If you draw like a land, you can play a second Scorpion. You can't stack more than one thing, though, so. I don't think it matters. Oh, they didn't draw land, alright. So they can't do that yet. You got double Sphinx. So, hand hand is. They have unknown card Kenrith Karungus. They can bounce to ferry though, uh, unless we want to poke to ferry and stop that from happening, which we can do. Um, so it's probably just like Judith this turn. Uh, Stack familiar, deal one to to ferry, and just hope to try and do lots of cool stuff next turn. We have a long way to go before we kill them. And they, have Ken they have Kenny next turn. If I attack with both, they block Scorpion? Or just Ack. Yeah, we really want another land here. We need to cast more than one spell, you know? Yeah, I'll, 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 love, I'll love the attack here, actually. Yeah, I mean, I've said for a long time that fast land should be evergreen. 
Totally agree. Too many tap lands. All right, deal one to Teferi so he can't bounce. Get that. Deal two. And say go. They're at 11. Um... Top of the scry, that's not good. Top of the scry again. S still just as bad as it was 10 seconds ago. Elspeth conquers death. This card hits, I guess it hits like a few cards in our deck. It's pretty annoying. All right, sure. That's bad, that's really bad. Here goes nothing. Hits Judith, the Scourge Devil, and Obosh. They're gonna attack? That's bold. That is some bold moves. We just can't double spell ever. Ever. I think we need to just poke to fairy against so they can't minus it. Time for plan B. I think there's still a pretty good chance this game. I think that attack was pretty suicidal, honestly. Yes, yeah, so Woe Strider would be, would be really good here. They're topping. That's bad. Don't have any non-creature spells. LOL, joke's on you. Here we go. I said Grungus to Chungus. It's a decent amount of cards they just drew, but they can't cast any of them, so. So you're telling me there's a chance. So what can I draw to win this game? Probably just uh, Woe Strider. Kenneth wasn't le wasn't lethal, but it, it forced a lot of damage across. I might have got might have got him on the backswing though. Um, I guess we're never attacking. So sacking Scorpion. I think it has to be Woe Strider exactly. It's 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. I don't think we have any outs, honestly. I don't think it matters. Yeah, even Mayhem Devil is not really good enough. Um, everything has Trample next turn, too. Yeah, we're just dead. All right. Tough game. We kept it kind of a kind of a clunky. Yeah, we we have been stumbling on lands a little bit, unfortunately, which is not not too cool. But um, yeah, just running it back. I think a reasonable hand it works out fine for us. I mean, this hand Obosh as well. Realistically, you know, like... It does have Squad plus Banner, which is actually pretty good. I'm going to keep this hand. We squad on one, Search on two, Banner Oven on three, Attack for four. It's actually pretty good. We have Obosh lined up, too. And, like, we're on the draw and they're Krungusing, so, like, Bone Crusher is the best they can do. Try bottom, sure. Familiar's not bad either. Um, I guess playing familiar. One well, thing is, I can cast oven or familiar off of the banner, but I can't search off banner. Uh, 
oven familiar this turn, and then banner next turn, it's Ack. That's also worse against uh, a sweeper effect. I get a search. Judith? So Banner also plays around um plays around uh, what's it called? Clarion reasonably well. So Banner for Black. Question is do I play Oven or Familiar? Because obviously playing the Familiar would walk into a Clarion harder. Um I think it's Oven. It's like the worst clarion of all time. It's like literally it's a clarion for one for a, I mean it's like a three drop I guess we spent three mana on it for two creatures but they're just saying go okay. Reaper's also not bad. Um, okay. We could just slam Obosh, but like that probably. I guess they can't Aether Gust me, right? I get a Borrower. Come on, do this the turn. They're out. Flame Sweep. Yeah, that's a card. Flame Sweep's a real magic card. That's a real magic card. Alright, so we're going to um, attack first. We're probably playing the Reaper. So. Yep. Okay. Get a food. That dies. And now we're going to play Reaper. Familiar Go? I think I like that. Just don't like fires and good spell this turn. Ask nicely. So we draw some cards, get back the familiar. Hello. Hello. Um If we just jam Judith and Devil and they have a another clarion. We're in big trouble. They did they did like pause in that clarion a little bit though. Um if we just jam Obosh here, it's pretty bad against like Teferi or Conqueror's Death. And like it doesn't really do a lot for us, I don't think. I wanna do this when, when stuff's in play, so we're just gonna do both. We're just gonna go nuts here, I think. They have another clarion. We still have uh, the familiar and the Obosh. We're dealing with some, some damage this turn, so... Like, this is a healthy chunk, you know? A lot of pressure on them to do something really important this turn. And if it's just play big things, it's not good enough. Krungus the Chungus. Sacking Fable Passage. Take one. Why is this card both sided? I don't get it. It makes sense to me. I mean, can they, like, 20 us through blockers? Because <laughs> they are dead. The devil only cares about the mayhem. No particular concern with who it's happening to.
Oh, it works, cool, it works. The hell took so long for that? That's insane. Just has the stone cold nuts, just doesn't even do it for like forever. Alright, um. Yeah, that sucks. We can't do anything. Sack this. Deal damage. Deal damage. Oh, I could I, I miscounted. I didn't count the food. I'm so stupid I punted. I didn't count the food as the as the fifth damage for Mayhem Devil. One, two, three. It's still not enough. We're, we're just we're short. We just screwed up. Yeah, we just gave the game away. Oh no, three from the from the thing. I'm so stupid. I'm I'm sorry, folks. I've been on for like five hours already. But now it has life length though, so we're we're gonna take damage from the the ability, and it's gonna it's still gonna it's still gonna gain life. All right, it's still a thing, I guess. All right, that was an ugly turn, but sure. Uh, yeah, that was a really bad turn. Definitely sloppy that one up, but sure, 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 sure. Just play the old Boschkis. They get to scry. A lot of bad things can happen here, but they are at six, and if they, uh, they play Conqueror's Death... We get to sacrifice the Obosh, get back our familiar. We get two foods. Let's draw Active Treason. Be a good way to go. They're going to scry with Castle of Antris in the middle of their main phase. Okay, sure. Bottom, bottom. Like to see that. I think Karunga's here and draw two cards. This deck is hard to play. I've really played these decks before, like these like the foodie sacrifice decks. Played them like once or twice, and I'm I'm always like, oh man, this deck's much harder than I thought it would be. Uh, we actually don't want to do this, because if we draw a mayhem devil, it's more damage not to. We're not attacking with it anyway, so it's uh I don't have a good like. Oh, I'm Helix. oh my god! Uh, I think that does it. Maybe, maybe not. What's that old saying? It's like something about like how you're better off having fortuitous events happen to you than uh, having a, an amount of skill. Something like that. I think some like checkers player used to say it or something. Right, this is three, two, one. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Definitely better lucky than good. Oh boy. Okay. Alright, two and oh. Two and oh. Um a little sloppy, a little rough around the edges there, but let's, let's just keep going here. A little roughy. A little rough, a little rough, a little rough. Remember, folks, if you haven't checked out, uh, uh, I don't even know. Oh, I did cool stuff already. Colas Apparel, check out my shirt. Join the pile drivers today. Get my shirt, 10% off, promo code JIM10. They have tons of other great shirts, too. Tons of awesome magic designs, very, very funny. 
All their commander shirts are currently five dollars off for only this month. All right, check it out. Call us for the shop. Promo code Jim Ten. It is better to have a run of fortuitous events than to surpass your opponents in skill. Ooh. I mean, we have claim, but no. That was our first time casting Obosh. We have claim, but no sack outlet, and we only have two lands. I don't mulligan his hand. Good choice, Jim. I'm gonna keep this. It's not. I don't wanna go to five. We got a squad, we got oven. We could cast a Lockthwain. Fires again. Oh, we knew, we knew it was Karungus. Alright, whatever. Alright, Whisper Squad, you got some work to do, my friend, let me tell you. I believe Fires is favored in these matchups, so... See if we can steal one again. The old mall is seven. Judith. Once again, we have the the Judith versus uh, Clarion spot here. Um, we're gonna just play Oven and Seiko. I'm gonna attack, obviously, but... Squad up again. Very Time Raveler. Not particularly impressive on this board. Squad up. Might be a bad idea. Gutter ball, gutter ball, gutter ball. Okay, so I don't think we have much interest in like killing the fairy. Um, I think we're just attacking for a whole bunch. This card's freaking great. I love this card. I'm a big squad fan. We're putting it all in play and we're attacking them. No Clarion, they lose the game on the spot. If they have Clarion, they'll take a bunch of damage, we'll figure it out from there. They don't got it. What? Alright. Okay. Um, they're at nine. They're at nine. You have so much background noise, Ellipsis. Listen, if you can't get over my background noise, I apologize. I can't find a different stream to watch, I'm sorry. It just is what it is, you know? We're, mov we're moving soon, I'll have a new studio with a new setup, it's gonna be freaking awesome, but for now, just gotta deal with a little bit of background noise. It just is what it is, you know? It's life. Life is about background noise. Mama always said that life was locked, background noise. Oh, make a play, sure. Um, we, we Obosh here, like... We kind of like have to have Conqueror's Death if we Obosh. I guess we just Obosh. Get out there. They need to ferry or a Conqueror's Death to like get this off the battlefield. And if we get to untap, like Judith, like Oven, maybe draw like a one drop. Cracking the old passage, sure, sure, sure. Even though they have fires in play, it could be bad for us. 
Why do they always have it? Always. Uh, I'm moving about a mile from here. I live on, live on Long Island, New York. In Long Island, New York? On Long Island, New York? I don't know. Alright, so that's crappy. Uh, they conquered death again. I don't play like that many copies of this card, honestly. There's a free Karungus, draw a million cards. The old companions. Squad. We've already, uh, exhausted our squads. I think we're in trouble, folks. Uh, Alright. A lot of food. True or false? Companions were a mistake. Uh, I think in their current form, yes. I think that companions are a mistake. My thoughts on that are on my YouTube. I explain my fix for companions. And I said I don't live in Orlando. Uh, the Cool Stuff Inc. Uh, home store is located in Orlando. And someone asked if I could have the token signed for them. Obviously, I'm not in Orlando, so they couldn't sign the card and send it out. So, Cavalier of Flame. Uh... Sure. Yeah, Devil would be a lot better here. We should start cracking food and like pinging them, but we're probably in uh, pretty big doo doo here. They could itch a boom boom to this uh, Conqueror's Death and get it back with their. Uh... No, not just discard lands. Okay. <sighs> Don't worry. I got you. I am worried. I am significantly worried. Alright, All right. tough game there. Our hand was not super great. Um, like a hard matchup. Like, just have all these deafening clarions and stuff, and like, just like pretty good against us. And they're, they close the game relatively quickly. Sideboard the same way. All the firstborns are out. On the drill bits, too. I think I still cut the two Woe Striders. I guess Judith is like pretty bad against uh, what's it called? Flame Sweep, but so is Woe Strider, so. And we just like can't draw a good opening hand. I feel like we can just never have like a couple lands with two black sources, like. We're gonna mulligan again. I absolutely do not want Reggie against the Teferi deck. Alright, let's go five, I guess. The ship two cards here. Oh man, this is brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Theater of Horrors is a cool card. It would not be good in these matchups, though. Because Theater of Horrors is like a slow, grindy card, and the Fire deck just kills you. They're not a control deck. They're a combo. They're like a combo deck. They just, like, you know, one shot you or two shot. You would never have time to get that card going. Swamp. Alright. Yeah, he's. Hey, Bastards are not really doing us any favors here. Yikes. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're just stone dead. Just like on the old mulligan to five. They have a they have a piece of interaction on two, which they don't usually have. Yeah. I think we need to go draft this serves our opposite skip this match. Alright. We're dead. I mean matchup seems hard, but I mean obviously our hands didn't really cooperate with us either. Let's play one more. One more of this deck. Try and uh, try and keep a keep an old eight card hand if we can. If we can do that, that'd be sweet. Uh oh, 
it's Karungus again, and then we have another non-black land hand again. <laughs> oh, why are you like this? Um, we know Claim is like dead too. <laughs> All right, I mean, we've already mulliganed our hands pretty bad, so uh, this is fine. So keep this, ship the claim. Passages are obviously very good with uh, with the uh, the Deuter Devil. My kingdom for Black Cleave Cliffs. My kingdom. Yes, the last uh, last hour would have gone much more smoothly if, it was, if we had a uh, black leaf cliffs and not uh, not the passages. The good news is I have Jello. Jello. It's the good news. Yeah, I mean, Flash is definitely good against uh, Fires. Fires is just like, the fact that Fires is already like close to the best deck, and then like, it just gets to play one of the 10 companions literally for free, it's like, pretty lame. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, she can't, she can't do anything like. Okay, that was fun. Alrighty. Pretty well uh, versed how to sideboard in this matchup, so let it ride. Let it ride. It's true. The fires that can't play the uh, the one shimmer possibility they often played. Remember, folks, I have a lot of content on my YouTube. A lot. Put a video basically every day. And uh, we're hopefully moving next week, which means that there'll be, there'll be less stream content. There'll still be a YouTube video every day, though, right? Check out my YouTube, youtube.com slash jimdavismtg. Tons of stuff on here. Modern, Legacy, Standard, Drafts, Bronze to Mythic, Mog Monday. It's all on here. Check out the YouTubes, all right? We heard the, yes, we heard from the bank on Friday. And we're clear to close according to the bank. So, in theory, we should be closing next week. In reality, we only draw one land that's always passage every time. That's our reality, folks. That's our reality. Reality is often disappointing. Uh, Alright, squat up. Can't draw lands. I don't know if we're just like running bad or like we're just like not playing enough lands or like. Squad up. Land, please. Deciding if they want to cast the Deafening Clarion or not, they do. Alright. I've had enough. I've had enough. Um, I don't know, like the... It's like playing the same deck like 10 times in a row. It's hard to really have a good feel for the deck, but... 
How many lands are we playing in this deck? I feel like we did run, like, pretty badly. Um, this is 10... It's only 22 lands. This deck like, probably needs a few more lands. Um, I probably got, like, a banner. The banners are cool, but I don't know if I want to draw, like, multiples. I think we just cut two banners for two lands. This deck's probably a lot better. Um, but... Definitely cool. Definitely some cool, cool ideas here for sure. Um, need some help in the fires matchup for sure. I don't really know what that is. Uh, you could play, could play uh, the pro white creature. They have flame sweep though, so I don't know if that's good enough. Because part the pro white creature unchained berserker gets around Clarion and Teferi, but still flame sweep available. Uh, maybe just duress is fine. Honestly, just try duressing them. You know, take away their, their massive removal and their engine cards is kind of better, but I don't know. So, that's this deck. Um, obviously, it didn't go as well as I would have liked, but, you know, that's the deck. So, we're going to play more, but YouTube folks, like, comment, subscribe, take that 10 seconds, like the video, leave a comment every time. Helps you out a ton. I'm buying a house. We're poor. Thanks a lot. YouTube, love you.